16-year-old Nick D'Aloysio created the Sumly app, which condenses lengthy news stories into concise, easy-to-read summaries. Over 100,000 people downloaded the app right away, and it attracted venture capital financing. Before Nick D'Aloysio became 18 years old, the app was purchased by Yahoo for $30 million less than two years later, making him a millionaire. However, not everyone is given a chance to become so wealthy at such an early age. That doesn't imply that there isn't anything you can do though. In fact, if you manage your money wisely for a short period of time while you are still a teenager, you'll probably become wealthy in your late 20s or early 30s. Although it may be hard to picture turning 30 when you're just 15 years old, trust me, it will happen much sooner than you think. And accumulating wealth later in life is far more challenging because you are no longer required to pay for the expenses that adults typically incur such as rent, groceries, and so forth. There's no turning back once you start living on your own and have to buy your own food and rent. By default, you will have set expenses that you cannot eliminate. I want to reveal something that happened to me when I was around 15 years old. I was completely ignorant about the stock market. I had no idea what it was or how it operated, despite hearing about it in the news and from other people. I am therefore envious of you if you're a teenager watching this video. I regret not having the intelligence to start learning about investing when I was 15 years old. What are the things I wish I had known as a teenager when I was making this video? What financial decisions would I have made differently? If I were to start making money at the ages of 14, 15, or 16, how would I do it? This is definitely one of the most significant lessons you will learn as a teenager watching this video. Even if you're a little older, I have no doubt that you will find this material useful. So if you're prepared, Continue watching this video. Number 1. Compound Interest The most effective weapon in your toolbox is compound interest. Compound interest is your teenager's most effective financial instrument. You're essentially wasting your teenage years if you don't take advantage of them. Don't worry if you don't understand compound interest or how it can be useful to you. I was likewise ignorant of that when I was a teenager. If you're given a choice between $3 million in cash right now or a penny that doubles every day for the next 31 days, which would you choose? Which option would you pick? A million dollars can seem like the best decision at first, but if you give it some thought, you'll find that a penny that doubles over the course of 31 days is a much better alternative. The penny doubles every day for the first 5 days, becoming a dollar. By the 11th day, it had increased to $5.12. By the 20th, even after the next 10 days, you will only receive $5,243. If you choose the penny, you will undoubtedly regret your decision because you will only receive slightly more than 5k as opposed to the $3 million that may drastically alter your life. However, if you gave it a little more time, by the end of the 31st day, the amount would have risen to almost $10,737,418. It would only increase to $2.7 million on the 29th day. The last two days have seen the most change. Therefore, if you begin saving when you're just 15 years old, you could reap the benefits of compound interest and, for example, become quite wealthy by the time you are 30. However, most people don't start early since they know that they won't make any noticeable progress in the first year or two, just like a penny didn't in the first 20 days. Naturally, if you are under 18, you cannot begin investing, but you may open a custodial account. You must open the account with an adult, most likely one of your parents who will also serve as the custodian before you can begin investing. Being a youngster and having little to no knowledge of the stock market makes it dangerous, but you don't have to. I would invest every cent I had in an ETF that tracks the S&P 500. Whatever happens, I know that my money won't go and more significantly that it will increase. I won't use that money in any way not to pay for a car or anything else. I would just sit back and let it prosper. I'll have some genuine riches once I reach adulthood thanks to the magic of compounding. Number 2. Don't spend money I know that sounds strange, you can actually eliminate 99% of the costs that adults typically incur. Do you require a place to sleep? Just continue to live with your folks. Will you consume it? You don't even need to cook when you eat at home. Of course, there are exceptions, but you should be able to do so if you're viewing this video from a first or second world country as YouTube data suggests. It becomes more challenging as you get older and acquire responsibilities. Believe me, you will never comprehend if you haven't tried living alone and handling all the payments by yourself. So believe me, saving money will become a goal that you probably won't achieve after you start a family and have children. 
Therefore, while you have the chance, save as much money as you can and invest it in an ETF of your choosing. And for the love of God, don't purchase a car with that money when you're 18 or 19 or 20 years old. Because purchasing a car will result in high monthly costs. The magic of compound interest allows every dollar you spend on car maintenance to grow exponentially if it is invested. But you need to earn money in order to save. Well done if your parents are providing you with pocket money. Otherwise, like in my situation. Number 3. Try making money. Without any skills, your only option for earning money is to choose a job that pays little or nothing. However, you can afford to accept the risk when you're a teenager. No one is really bothered if you fail, you are a young adult. Nobody anticipates that you will find a profitable firm at the age of 16. And what about that? Living with your parents means that you still have a roof over your head and you never have to worry about finding food because you can always eat at home. So if you enjoy gaming, consider using Steam. Perhaps you could create YouTube videos. Open a Fiverr account to see what services you might be able to sell. Try selling door to door. Try your hand at internet sales. Try it if you have a better suggestion. Teenagers are the ideal age to give it a shot. You won't ever get another chance like this. Don't consider failing. Good luck if you succeed. If not, it makes no difference. Back when YouTube wasn't a thing, I can recall fixing computers for people. You couldn't just watch a YouTube video to learn how to fix your computer as long as you have access to the internet, especially given when there's so many chances. Number 4. Keep learning as a teenager, especially when you're 17 or 18 years old. Do you believe you have it all figured out? Believe me, not at all. Make studying your top priority because you are thinking that is due to how little you know about things. Just because you can make a few hundred dollars does not mean you're an expert in finance. Never be afraid to listen to someone who is more experienced than you. Never assume that just because you watch a YouTube video, you already know everything. Number 5. Get yourself ready once an opportunity strikes. The majority of money is produced during crisis, as you surely already know. But it's not made by haphazard individuals, rather it's made by those who started preparing for such an opportunity years ago. In 2020, those who had amassed sufficient savings and had a thorough understanding of the economy prospered. Others made their fortunes during the real estate catastrophe or the cryptocurrency crisis. So if you're not getting results right away, don't become concerned. Just keep working hard, be ready for a moment because it will come. Gaining wealth is fantastic. Building and investing in businesses is wonderful for sure. But if you're not going to enjoy yourself, it's not worth it. Enjoy yourself along the journey, especially if you're a teen. Don't pass up the chance to have some priceless experiences because you won't be a teen again. That's all for now. We hope you enjoyed yourselves and learned something new. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos. Click on our previous videos and learn 7 ways to easily multiply your income in 2022. Or click on how to make money online in 2022, according to the pros to keep your knowledge growing.